Hey guys, Andy here, and today on the Andy Japani channel, I'm going to be giving you a little update on the state of the Andy San. Coming up. So yeah guys, we out here in good old Nakano, Tokyo, Japan, and I have a major announcement as involves the state of this channel, uh, as well as uh, your boy the Andy San over here. So, proud to announce that I'm gonna be moving very soon. I found a new guest house out in lovely Kawasaki, Kanagawa, Japan. Uh, it's got my own private room, and it's gonna be very close to Temple University of Japan, which is where I'm aiming to go to next once I'm graduated from Lakeland. And uh, I just cannot wait to show you guys the place. It's a lot, a lot less busy than uh, out here in Nakano with the planes and the helicopters and buildings and all kinds of other stuff going on. But uh, I like it, man. I really dig the environment. It's nice, chill. One of the things that I learned during this semester was just the importance of having my own private uh, workspace. Um, you know, once we shifted over to online classes, it was just very hard for me to focus on assignments, whether it was in the box or in the common areas. Uh, it was just really hard for me to get stuff done. So I ended up uh, renting out hotel rooms over the weekends just to work on assignments and just get away from everything. And uh, thanks to that and my own efforts, uh, I was able to get a really kick-ass GPA. But I figure uh, a bit more long-term, probably best to have my own dedicated spot so I don't have to go spending money, decide to find another guest house with a private room. And I also wanted one that was closer to Temple University of Japan, which is where I plan on transferring to next after Lakeland. And uh, as far as the status of that goes, gotta say that I've already officially applied to Temple, sent in my transcripts, and I'm in talks with the uh, admissions uh, person. And uh, we're gonna be making some moves on that very soon. But as far as anything beyond that, don't really have anything to say. But uh, as new information comes up, I'm sure to let y'all know. Since I'm gonna be having my own dedicated space, I'm gonna be doing a lot more live streaming because I won't have to worry about the weather, even though the weather right now is like really awesome. Uh, it's not always like that out here in Japan. <laughs> So it's nice to have my own space to where I can make content consistently. And not have to worry about noises and wind and planes and helicopters and all this, that, and the other trying to, uh, trying to distract me. <laughs> so but another little piece of news as it involves this channel is that uh, because I'm going to be moving, I've decided to uh, rename the Breakfast in Tokyo live streams. And uh, I did a little poll on this channel, in the community tab, as well as on Twitter. And on both channels, overwhelmingly so, you guys have voted for Breakfast in Japan. Now, that's the name that I actually wanted for uh, the live stream series. And I just wanted to kind of gauge you guys' reaction to it as well. And uh, you're definitely with me as far as that goes. So from this day forth, uh, the Breakfast in Tokyo live streams are gonna be changed over to Breakfast in Japan and um, we're gonna be doing a lot of cool things with that. Um, not only doing kind of the same stuff we've been doing, you know, going to conveniences, grabbing stuff and uh, eating out and about, but I also want to do some cooking videos as well. I'm um, showing you guys me making stuff for breakfast because with the new guest house, they have a massive kitchen that I definitely want to be taking advantage of. And uh, as far as other types of uh, Japan content, and that quality Japan content, um, I've also been working on some stuff uh, for the past couple months that I've just kind of had on the back burner, uh, either due to finals or just whatever, life basically. And uh, hoping to get those out in the next coming weeks. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's gonna be kind of a day in the life type stuff that I filmed uh, a couple months ago. And uh, also gonna be putting out some lost episodes of Andy Japandi, including a Day in the Life episode that I filmed out at Lakeland University back when the university was actually open. But it was just uh, little clips and stuff like that here and there of uh, the campus and uh, stuff like that. And I'm also gonna be posting a long lost episode of the original Andy Japandi series, where I go out to the steak saloon out in uh, Sasebo, Japan, uh, after a long 
major uh, exercise and uh, I was gonna do like a whole thing on it but uh, my division was there felt a little weird about making videos <laughs> in front of them and I was also like really tired so I don't really have like a whole lot of footage of it but I definitely do want to show it and uh, if you guys are ever out that way can't recommend a better place to uh, have some quality steak definitely cannot recommend it enough but uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going to be going on as far as Japan related stuff goes. So I'm also going to be doing another Uppy Day video on my The Andy San channel, kind of going in depth more with uh, other topics as well as what we already discussed. So better get on that. And with all that said, guys, this is The Andy San, signing for now. And as always, and forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.